Welcome to Retro Crisis. My preferred method of installing RetroArch on Steam Deck is the full fat desktop version of RetroArch with all the bells and whistles. So in this video, I'll show you how to install that and I'll also show you how you can access it from desktop and handheld mode. So the first step is to load up your Steam Deck and then go to the power menu. And then you want to switch to desktop mode. Okay, so once you're in desktop mode, you need to go down here to the Discover Software Center. And then in the search box, type in RetroArch. And then press enter. And if you just click this, and then once you're on this page, just double check the version number, and it should be the latest version, and then hit the install button. And now just sit back and wait for the installation to complete. Excellent. So once that's complete, you'll notice the options up here should change to remove and launch. So now we just need to close this window. And if you go to the application launcher at the bottom here, and if you go to games, you'll notice that RetroArch should now appear in your menu. Great. So now I want to show you how you can access the RetroArch folder. So go down here to Dolphin File Manager where it says home forward slash deck forward slash, type in dot VAR and then press enter. Now go to app, RetroArch, config and RetroArch. And this is your main RetroArch folder. Now the last thing you probably want to do is type in this long file path every time you want to access this folder. I'll show you very quickly how to make a shortcut to it. So once you're in the folder, just right click in a blank space and then go to add to places. And then once you click that, you'll notice in your places menu, RetroArch will appear. So for example, if you start off on your home screen and you want to very quickly access RetroArch, just click that. Now let's close this window and return to RetroArch. Right, so now we know how to access and use RetroArch from Steam Deck's desktop mode. I'm going to show you how you can now access it from the main handheld gaming mode. But before we do that, I just want to make sure we have the RetroArch menu hotkey configured. So to do that, go to settings, go to input, and then go to hotkeys. Go down to menu toggle, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to use one of the buttons on the rear of the Steam Deck to assign as the menu toggle. But to be honest, it's totally up to you which button on your Steam Deck you want to assign. Your choice totally. So I'm going to select it and then keep hold of the button on the back of my Steam Deck and there we go. So that button is registered as key page down. So now every time I want to select the RetroArch menu, I just press whichever button I selected. Okay, so now let's exit RetroArch. And now we want to open up Steam. Once we've opened Steam, go to Games, and then go to Add a non-Steam game to my library, and then go down to RetroArch, select it there, so make sure you have blue tick, and then go to Add Selected Programs. And now we can exit Steam. And now let's go to Return to Gaming Mode. And then once you're back in Gaming Mode, if you go to your library, and go to non-Steam, you'll notice RetroArch will show up here. Now open RetroArch and go to play. And there we go, now you're in the full version of RetroArch. Now I'm going to show you how you can configure all of your control pad buttons. So go down to settings, go to input, and go to RetroPad binds, and port one controls, and then go to set all controls. Once we select set all your controls, you'll see a little pop-up appear on the screen showing you a control pad button and then you need to select which Steam Deck button you want to assign to it. So let's go through the process very quickly. It's very fast, so if you get it wrong, no problem, just exit out of the process and restart. So let's try and do this. And that's how you configure all the buttons. And one last thing to do is, so currently the back and OK buttons are mapped in the kind of Nintendo style, but personally I prefer to use the Xbox style. So I'll show you how to swap those buttons around. So let's go back and then back again. And now let's go down to menu controls and go down one. And where it says menu swap OK and cancel buttons, just press OK on that. 
now you should have more of a Xbox style of control scheme. And there we have it, that's how you install RetroArch on Steam Deck. I've left a link to a playlist in the description which shows you a whole load of useful video guides for RetroArch. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful, this has been Retro Crisis, thank you for watching.